All right, we got it for you again. We managed to find another leaked page here. We got the Black Friday prices for Flash Forge. Now let's take a look at them real quick. Now these are the prices currently right now. Okay, I wanna show you those first so you can compare it to the sale price, right? Currently, they've got the three models. We've got the uh, the 85X, the Adventure 5M, and then the Adventure 5M Pro, all right? And we're looking at current sale prices of 400, 300, and 450. Now what you got here is basically you've got two open frames, one fully enclosed. There is an enclosure module or kit you can get for it. It's like 50 bucks or something to enclose the other ones, but you're not gonna get like the fully enclosed, you know, uh, AMS system, multi-material, whatever you wanna call those, the multicolor system here. Uh, and you're not gonna get like the high-end engineering stuff. This is clearly entry-level, beginner-friendly kind of stuff. That's what they're targeting. Let's talk about these sale prices though, okay? Because we just saw what those are gonna be. Now for Black Friday, how low can they really take these? Honestly, pretty low. Let's take a look at, it. we got the 5M coming in. This is the basic open frame, single color, $219. That's pretty cheap, all right? Then we have the, the we'll skip to the other side, the 5X, which is the, again, open frame, multi-material color kind of thing, and it's coming in at 319. So if you want to print multi-color, you're looking at 319. And then for the fully enclosed, you know, that whole environment kind of thing, you got the 5M Pro. Now here's the deal. The 5M Pro can't do multi-color. There are ways there's, I mean, you can manually swap and stuff, and you can, but there's no, there's no, multi-material system for that, all right? There's a third-party system you can buy. You can deal with that if you want to. Also, for being fully enclosed, it won't do like the high-end engineering stuff. I think ABS is the most you're gonna get out of this, all right? So these are entry-level. So let's compare it to that, all right? So if we're looking at something like the, uh, the 5M, you know, it's coming in at $219. Okay, now granted, remember, it doesn't have a huge, I think it's a 220 build volume on it, 220 by 220 by 220. Uh, why would I, if I'm recommending this, let me put it this way. If I'm recommending this to like a relative, somebody I, or maybe even somebody I really care about, <laughs> I'm gonna tell them to get the Bamboo Lab for $200. If, if, if it's all about cost, and I'm looking at the 5M for 220 or the Bamboo Lab Mini. Now the Mini is a little bit smaller. I think it's a 180 build volume, okay? So to be fair, and it's completely open frame. You're a bed slinger, so they're really tall stuff. You gotta but Bamboo Labs really nailed it, all right? And they know that as it goes up, it gets, so they slow it down, it doesn't go as fast. And you have the option of adding an AMS to this. All right. What about the 85X, right? It's coming at $320. Well, why would I not get the A1? I can get the A1, and if I want multi-material, you know, I got the AMS Lite for $379. It is, now, that is more expensive. Not a lot, it's like, what was it, 50 bucks, 30, something, you do the math. Point is, the quality, the print quality out of the box, the push to print, just ready to go, the apple-like walled garden that is bamboo, it's just better because we're talking about, I know a lot of people are already sitting there typing, but I can do, no, 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 not hobbyists. Entry level beginners, per, pe, this is what these are targeted for, right? They even talking about classrooms and stuff like that. I'm gonna put a bamboo in front of you every time as a beginner, why? It just works. Remember my toaster, if you haven't heard my toaster thing, I want 3D printers to be appliances. I want it to be like a toaster. I don't have to think about how a toaster works. I don't have to fiddle with a toaster. I don't have to go, I wonder what the flow rate of my heat setting is gonna be for my filament versus if I swap over. No, 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 no. I, I put bread in, I press the button, I get toast. That's what I want for, for, for 3D printer and Bamboo Lab is the closest to that right now. All right? I, I cannot, I mean, $50 is $50, but for 50 bucks, you're gonna get so much more out of the A1, all right? Um, and then let's talk about the 5M Pro, okay? If we go and we look at the 5M Pro, we're looking at fully enclosed, it'll do up to ABS, single color, man, you know, manual swaps, and it's 
or I can get the Elegoo Centauri Carbon for two seventy nine. Shipping on it's going to be thirty bucks. I don't know if the shipping on the uh, uh, on the the Flash Forge is going to be, but this is a fantastic printer for that price for two hundred eighty dollars. That's an outrageous price. Two fifty six by two fifty six by two fifty six. It'll do carbon fiber out of the box. I know. I've done it. Okay. I, I, I've printed, I'm printing PCTG with it right now. It's printing fabulous. Uh, I've printed uh, wood fiber with it. Uh, I've printed glow in the dark with it. Uh, it's my go-to general purpose printer. While all my other, you know, printers are, are over there ranching. It's my go-to, it's, it's my ranch hand, if you would. It does all of my miscellaneous stuff. And it does it just fine. This is for 200, why would I get For more money, why would I get the, the, the Flash Forge? Tell me what I'm missing in the comments because this thing works. Flash Forge used to be a really great go-to company, all right? It was it was like one of the best alternatives from like Maker Forge and all that back in the day. But man, they've slipped. Uh, the, uh, I just, I can't even compare the two, all right? And then if I really want to get crazy with it, I could step up and get the Bamboo Lab right now, the P1S, Full color, enclosed AMS, enclosed system, will handle everything. I can upgrade it to do carbon fiber. Uh, it'll do all the other filaments out of the box up to engineering stuff, okay? Uh, it's an absolute workhorse, and it's $550. I just, I can't fathom where I would go with it, even at the Black Friday prices. Even at the Black Friday prices, it's almost like Flash Forge has boxed them into an, in, an irrelevant position. Now, some people say, well, you're sponsored by so-and-so. I'm not sponsored by any company. No one's paying me to do the, these things, okay? Uh, but I have had, Bamboo sent me uh, uh, several printers, all right? Uh, in fact, they just offered me the, the PS2, P2S, I keep calling it PlayStation, the P2S. They just offered it to me, and I'm like, if it's not gonna come out anytime soon, I, I, I don't wanna be showing it on the channel. Uh, but the, um, the, and Elegoo has also, the Elegoo Centauri have, they got sent to me. So you're like, well, you're just hating on Flashforge because they didn't send anything. Surprise, Flashforge offered me, about two months ago, offered to send me a printer and I turned them down uh, because I didn't even want it free. Let that sink in. Now I'm coming at it from the standpoint of a print rancher. Okay, if I was just some guy sitting at home, you know, I want to play with some. Sure, it'd be nice to get a free printer. I'll, I'll send me it or I'll play with it. Why not? But if it's something I'm really going to use, I'm not spending money on it. I didn't even want it free because there's that, that level of irrelevance compared to what's going on in the market. Prove me wrong in the comments because you can't. The reliability is not as good as... as as any of the other ones. The print quality, not as good. The price was better, but even at Black Friday prices, not really. They've got to change something. They've got to fix something. We need something new, big, and exciting. We need a five, we need a six M Pro Max. All right. It needs to be large format. It needs to print multi-material. Uh, it needs to do engineering material. It needs a heated chamber. It needs to be 350 by 350 by 350. And it needs to come in at like $500. If Flashforge can do that, they can be relevant again. Or they need to cut these prices by another 20%, 25%, maybe 30. Let me know in the comments what you think. Am I wrong? Fight me in the comments. <laughs> okay. Now, here's the deal. Uh, we don't have the pricing yet for Creality, so I can't really compare it for Creality. We're gonna, we're waiting for them to release their Black Friday prices. Uh, we're waiting for any cubic to release their Black Friday prices. Now, we did leak, if you didn't see my other video, we did leak their new S1 Cobra Max, which is exciting, especially at the price point that it's coming at. If they can fix the bed issues, that could be making them relevant again. Flash Forge? What's your, what's your play? How are you going to respond to this? Anyway, if you like what we do, go ahead and jump the old like button, smash that subscribe, ring the bell on the way out. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.